So it's time to do a water change in your aquarium and maybe you've been putting that off for a while or maybe your brand new aquarium is finally ready for a water change. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you three reasons why water changes help in your reef aquarium. Starting with number three, waste management. You see, reef aquariums can be very delicate ecosystems and small changes in your water quality can lead to a big impact in the health of your fish and corals. Over time, waste and pollutants can build up in your reef aquarium and cause elevated levels in nitrates and phosphates. This can lead to issues with algae growth and decrease the water quality, and it can even cause death to sensitive fish or corals in your tank. So a water change is a way to control these levels and maintain water quality. Now be sure to hang out all the way to the end of this video because I'll be sharing a bonus tip of why water changes are helpful for your aquarium. Now, number two is water quality. Doing a water change in your reef tank helps with the water quality and keeping things stable with your reef aquarium. Because not only do pollutants and waste build up in your reef tank, elements in the aquarium get depleted as well as corals use up calcium and alkalinity and magnesium. So when you create a fresh batch of salt water, you're taking out the old salt water from your reef aquarium and you're replenishing it with new elements and you're diluting things like your nitrates and your phosphates. So you're bringing waste levels down and replenishing elements for your corals and other inhabitants in your reef aquarium. And with that, that brings us to the number one reason why water changes are helpful for your reef aquarium is that it promotes health and stability in your reef aquarium. Now, providing a healthy, stable environment for your fish and corals to grow is one of the most important things when keeping a reef aquarium. Whether you're keeping soft corals, LPS corals, a mixture of corals, or even SPS corals, whatever you're doing with your reef aquarium, you wanna provide a healthy, stable environment, and doing a water change will achieve that for you. Especially if you're new in the hobby, one of the quickest ways to find success with your reef aquarium is by doing consistent water changes. Coming up with a routine when it comes to water changes is really gonna help you to understand what's going on in your tank. While you continue to test your reef aquarium and learn water chemistry and what water parameters are working for your reef aquarium, doing water changes is gonna help balance out some of those levels and keep things stable for your aquarium because stability in the reef aquarium, we hear that all the time. Keeping your parameters stable is the best way to have a successful reef aquarium. Okay, so I promised a bonus tip at the end of the video. And so you may be saying, yes, water change helps to cut back on waste and pollutants in the tank. It's a way to replenish the elements like calcium, alkalinity, magnesium in my tank. And yes, I need to get into a routine of setting myself up for success by doing water changes, but when do I do them? How often do the, I do them? And what does that even look like? So as you get more comfortable in the hobby with your new aquarium, or maybe you have one that's been established and you've just gotten away from water changes and you're looking for that routine again, I would recommend starting at 10% of your tank's water volume per week. Now, if you're like, weekly water changes, that sounds like a lot. I don't know if I can commit to it every week. Well, if you wanna do that every two weeks, then bump that up to around 20, 25% of your tank's water volume and do that every two weeks. Having consistency in your maintenance routine, especially with water changes, is gonna set you up to having a successful reef tank in the long term. Because as you progress from doing weekly water changes and having a consistent schedule, over time, your tank won't be as dependent on water changes and you can move into more of the technical aspects of reef keeping. There's other systems out there that you can start doing like dosing elements and trace elements and all this stuff. But if you're brand new to the hobby and you're still trying to figure things out, then water changes are the quickest way to having success and even long-term success. Now, if you need some help mixing up a fresh batch of salt water, I made this video right here just for you. So remember to click or tap your screen, check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.